Hello my friends, hello, it's Matthew Street and welcome to my channel. As always, I truly appreciate you being here and folks, this is not going to be too long of a video, but it's going to have a dual purpose, so to speak, because I'm going to promote a channel, give some props to a channel, which I don't believe I've ever promoted before, but I may have in the past, and also to show you, do an opening of a brand new item I just received, and I'm so excited and happy, so I haven't done an opening in a long time, so I'm going to open it up, and we'll look at it together for the first time. Now, the channel I'm going to promote is, and you like my high-tech graphics, because I just don't have time to go bring this to the computer and make something nice fly in and fly out with special effects. I'm just going to tell you about the channel. It's a great channel called 8 Vinyl Low, okay? 8, <laughs> eight we like those, high tech, high tech? 8 Vinyl Low is the name of the channel, and the curator of this channel goes by the name of Emma, so you remember her name, 8 Vinyl Low. Go check out this channel, folks. Go say hi to Emma from Matthew Street. Great, great rock and roll fan and Emma and a young rock and roll fan I will say and she is young to me because I'm an old man so she's she's not that old she's a younger younger woman I should say I will not call her a girl young woman Emma big cheap trick fan she loves cheap trick <laughs> cheap trick as I do uh, she loves the Beatles she loves the raspberries bad finger uh, my new favorite band the midnight caller she loves power pop she's just a great great person and has a wonderful channel go check it out you won't be sorry she gets down to business and she talks about good rock and roll and that's what it's all about so again go check out eight vinyl low and say hi to emma i'll put the link to her channel below in the narrative Folks, the reason I'm mentioning Emma and 8 Vinyl Low is because she recently did a video and showed something that I had no idea was out there or even existed, and it just came out earlier this month on November 3rd, I believe, 2022. It was released as a Walmart exclusive, and I said, oh my goodness, I did not know that was out there. I need to get it. So right away, I go to my computer and I place the order, and when I do, within a day... I received this item from this company but the only negative I will say is I don't I'm not too happy with their packaging but I did receive it quick so I'll give them props for that and that item came like this in a bag essentially <laughs> I mean it's like a big one of those kitchen big kitchen trash bags from Walmart yeah it was all folded over and taped like this but still I mean there's a vinyl album in here is that the way to ship a vinyl album? I don't know. But anyway, I'm not going to hop on that too much. So, the item is... All right, I'm wearing the shirt. I'm talking about 8 Vinyl Low, Emma's channel. She's such a big Cheap Trick fan. Emma showed off this brand new Cheap Trick, the authorized greatest hits. Selected by the band. Now, this is opposed to back in 1991, there was a greatest hits released by... Uh, Epic, Cheap Trick, and that one allegedly was selected by Epic, and I'm getting information that the band wasn't too happy with that Greatest Hits, albeit it did have their cover of the Beatles' Magical Mystery Tour on it, which I absolutely adore. But anyway, neither here nor there, that was not an authorized Greatest Hits. This is an authorized Greatest Hits selected by the band. Now, it originally came back out, I think, like 22 years ago, back in the year 2000. This was released by the band on CD only. You could not get it on vinyl. So, lo and behold, here we are all these years later, two decades later, and we now have authorized Greatest Hits by Cheap Trick on a double, beautiful double vinyl set. And as it says, and it's ex exclusive to Walmart, an ultra clear vinyl. All right? I'll show you that hype sticker real quick. So I'm excited about this. I'm going to go through some of the songs with you, but while we're talking about it, let's open up this bad boy. What do you say? Uh, okay, let's get this going here. And it is not a gatefold. From what I remember from Emma's video, this is not a gatefold. It is basically, um, from what I remember, two albums placed inside of this packaging. I just want to go very gingerly. I always, especially when you're, you know, an old guy like me and my eyesight's not good even with my Matthew Street glasses and whatnot. And 
I know, Matthew, why did you choose blue tinted glasses? Well, I, I just always liked them. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. So, all right, I think I got it here. So it's not a gatefold, unfortunately. I wish it was, with a cool picture of the band. But it's that, the outer sleeve, and inside you get two inner sleeve paper like yeah not not the lightest paper but not the heaviest stock either kind of a mid-range paper basically side a and b and what songs are on it and then you get uh, uh, more credits more excerpts from interviews with ken sharp about the songs on this album ken did a, uh, has written a couple of great books about cheap trick i believe and again side three and four you get the songs here and then you get some more information with some liner notes here about the band and, and credits you can read. And again, more notes, excerpts from Ken Sharp's book about Cheap Trick. So let's look at these now. Now, this is great. If you're into... Oh, wow, this is ultra clear. Ooh, wow. I can see you through there. <laughs> that is... Look at... That is like the label's floating that is very cool. There's LP1. Let's look at LP2. Again, you get that static holds it in there. Very nice. Again, similar label, similar over, overall look to it, but like again, clear vinyl, can see you through it. Very nice. Not sure if it's 180 gram, but it's pretty solid. It seems pretty solid to me. So beautiful, aren't they? Beautiful piece of vinyl. Now this is a great little package to have folks you get a lot of cool stuff in here now you're getting all your standard common cheap trick hits I hear you're getting a lot of them um, I got a little list here just so I don't forget but you're getting I want you to want me the live version from Budokan which made number seven ain't that a shame from Budokan which made top 40 uh, dream police which was like a top 10 hit surrender the flame number one hit for them uh, voices, top 40, stop this game, everything works if you let it, which were all charted hits. If you want my love, top 40, she's tight, uh, just bubbling under the top 40, tonight it's you, uh, can't stop falling into love, which made top 10, and they're all here, folks. All the big, big hits are here that you know and love, so it's definitely worth getting and checking out. And the only thing missing that I was a little bummed about that songs I enjoy, truly enjoy, that are not here, I can't say they miss too many. The only two that I of note that I miss is Ghost Town, which made Top 40 from their great Lap of Luxury album. That's not here. And also, the really cool cover of Elvis Presley they did, Don't Be Cruel, which made number four on the charts. That was a big hit from Lap of Luxury, and that's not here as well. So I was a little surprised that those two were not here. However, you are getting some rarities. You're getting the great song from Busted called Walk Away, one of my favorites of mine from that album, and the great Chrissy Hine sings on it. You're getting that 70s song, which was from the TV show theme, which was a, a rewrite of In the Street by Big Star, I Can't Take It is a great song on here. Manda Cello from the first album, Surprising Here, and California Man is also here. So you're getting some rarities, some really cool songs, and you're getting the majority of the top hits from Cheap Trick. So folks, it's definitely worth it. Check it out on that beautiful clear vinyl. And again, I want to thank Emma because she showed this on her channel. I had no idea about it. And lo and behold, there it is. So, Emma, thank you for showing it. And, folks, oh, let me mention quick the price. Regularly, $28, $29 bucks for this thing. Okay, but Walmart was having a big sale, so when I went online to order it, I got it for $15. Can you believe it? Almost half the cost. And with shipping, it was just, you know, under $20 or something like that. So you can't beat that, folks. The price was great. So remember, 8 Final Low, go check out Emma's channel. I'll put the link below. Go say hi for me. Say Matt Street sent you, and uh, Emma's a great person, has a great channel, and she loves Cheap Trick and the Beatles, so go check it out. Thanks again, folks. Hope you enjoyed this little video, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.